this is something that bothers many Muslims, and rightly so. When the Dajjal comes, will we be able to recognize him? And will we be able to resist the temptation to follow him? We have many hadiths which make a physical description of Dajjal. But will we really see him as he is described? Knowing that, as his name suggests, he will be a specialist in deceiving people, as well as making people think the truth is a lie. The Hadiths teach us that he will be one yet blind. But at the present time, this is something that will be easy to hide. With medical advances, or a glass eye for example. But the main thing that the Hadiths teach us is that the truthful believers will be able to recognize him and that they will read Kafir, this believer, written on his forehead. And we know that he will appear during a time of trouble, a time when deception and lying will be widespread, a time where moral values have given way to perversion. A time when the truthful Muslim will feel like a stranger, both in Muslim and non-Muslim country. Some of us believe that time has already begun. The Imam Ahmad reported to us that the Prophet said, the Dajjal will emerge at a time when religious commitment is low and knowledge has decreased. We live in a time of trouble and Muslims are increasingly persecuted. But even with all this, there are several signs that have not yet occurred. Especially the one I'm going to quote. It's narrated by Abu Umam al-Bahili, who was a companion of the Prophet. Allah's Messenger said, there will be three hard years before the Dajjal appears. During them, people will be stricken by a great famine. In the first year, Allah will come in the sky to withhold a third of its rain, and the earth to withhold a third of its produce. In the second year, Allah will come in the sky to withhold two-thirds of its rain, and the earth to withhold two-thirds of its produce. And in the third year, Allah will come in the sky to withhold all of its rain. And it will not rain a single drop of rain. And he will come in the earth to withhold all of its produce. And no plant will grow. All hoofed animal will perish. Except that which Allah wills. This means that there will be a famine on the whole planet. This will inevitably lead to the death of a large part of the humanity. But we know that most of the population that will survive will follow the Dajjal. Because he will be able to make people believe that he is the Messiah and he will be able to bring the rain so also food after these years of drought. And he will also be able to make people believe that he can resurrect dead people. And he will deceive people with it, because they will see this as the truth. Another thing that explains why many believers and Muslims will follow him is also the fact that religious commitment and knowledge will have decreased. So it seems that this sign will be the main sign that will precede the arrival of the Dajjal. He'll come right after that, he'll give people what they need and tell them what they want to hear. So he will come in these drought years. He will bring the rain and also other false miracles and people will believe in him. What explains why Muslims will follow him 
is because he will use religion and mix it with lies and performing false miracles. But the hardship will end with the coming of the true Messiah. He will join the Imam al-Mahdi and the group of the truthful believers. They will defeat the Dajjal and re-establish the truth. It sounds easy explained this way, but it must be remembered that this will be the most difficult test of all time that Muslims will have to undergo. And at that time it will be much easier to follow liars than to follow the path of Islam. May God guide us and allow us to be among the truthful.